Alright, I just jumped in a little bit quick, but whatever. Hey guys, what's going on? I haven't recorded in a while, so I'll be fucking rusty as shit. <clears throat> but I figured I need to get back into it because it's the only thing I do that isn't fucking stressful. Because um, I'm always either working or training to be an elite boxer. And neither of those things are easy. But this is, so... <clears throat> Fuck, I haven't spoken in hours, so my voice is fucked. I have a slight cold, so I sound like a nasty little bitch. Here we go, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I've played the shit out of this, and I thought, why not record it? It's one of them very recordable games. So, um, we're going to jump into it. Fuck me, I am rusty, I'm talking too much. <clears throat> we're going to just jump in. I don't know. I've been making the character look like me. But I feel like I should fuck around a little bit and make someone else. Maybe I'll make Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'll do that. <coughs> I'll do Mike Tyson. Why not? <clears throat> Just trying to find a model that we get to start from, I guess. Maybe this one. Okay. Can I make you bald? Uh, wait, where's the hair? I need to get the hair going first. Okay, okay that'll do. I realise I can't have a beard or a moustache, so... Uh, yeah, stick ass eyebrows. And they're probably... Need him dark. Like black. Is that it? Maybe. <coughs> Purple eyebrows, man. Nah, I'm gonna go with that one. Eye colour, he probably has brown. But let's make him red if we can make him red. Apparently not. Apparently red is not an eye colour. Right. There's no freckles. I can't really have a tattoo. Oh man, this isn't going to work because he's not going to look right. Fuck it. Let's do the scar and make him look like Anakin Skywalker. No, that's the complete wrong hair. Uh, sort of. Sort of works. No, that's too short. It's gotta be that one then. Or maybe this one. Yeah, that's episode 3 Skywalker. He has brown hair. And I need to sort the skin out because he's not a black dude. That one sort of looks like him. There you go. That'll do. Yeah, that's it. Um, he'll have the main voice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. He wants it deep. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Uh, yeah, we go normal. And fuck it. I wanted to swap it up a little bit. Cause I, I've got the way to make the guy look like me, but I've done that twice now, so <clears throat> let's fuck around a little bit I like doing stuff like that, I make um, like Kratos and stuff in uh, in Dark Souls and that, it's funny Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart it's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! 
George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Some bad guys. <coughs> See, I'm a pretty, pretty big Harry Potter nerd. I reread the books over and over, and I'm all into the lore and shit like that. So, I, when I played this game, I got like every reference and every fucking subtle hint towards stuff and I really enjoyed this game to like the maximum I could. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And... It was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his <coughs> activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh, she. I always thought that was cool as fuck. Give me your hand! 
He just did that without a want. I've only just clocked that. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Uh, I do, but I'm going to pretend I don't for the purposes of a playthrough. Expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Sure. I'm gonna break some pots. Oh, I can't do the spell yet. Good, never mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I'm gonna say, hurry up. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, look at that. It wasn't a very good barrier. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I know how to play the game. I will be skipping tutorials and shit. And I do apologize. If that was the main reason, you maybe clicked on this. And I've destroyed your whole life. <clears throat> with every cast. Thank you, sir. Pots. I like just breaking pots and shit. Ah, up there. Why can't I climb? There you go. <clears throat> it is annoying that I've done this multiple times because. Because of that, it's a bit more boring because I've done it a million times and 
We're close I don't now. care about it's what you say. Ahead. 